Welcome back YouTube. I'm really excited today. Latest purchase is Developer Boring the 2.0. So they've done the 1.0 with the Chicago. They actually have a 2.0 Chicago. And now we have the black and red. Got the same size 11. There's definitely some differences. Um, but we're going to hop right in. Again, this comes with a nice thick cardboard box. Let's open her up. We got the cool Make Imagination into Reality. The layouts, the cuts, everything, and there's the shoes. They look really cool. Again, you open the box. That high quality, great smelling leather just hits you in the face. Smells good, feels good. Can't wait to wear these. Um, and you guys, the price is right. It's crazy. It's crazy how how affordable they are. Um, that it, it's just it's kind of mind boggling that they're you know. The price the way they are quality leather feels great um, they've updated the shape you got the black tongue they're giving us what we want unlike Jordan brand with their Jordan one low slippers this year so it's like what do you want do you want this or do you want that no all right so I know a lot of people are against customs Let's just put it this way. The Retro 85 comes back, it's not going to have this quality leather. They're going to cost more, right? So um, I, I really I appreciate what these guys are doing. You got the Retro 85 or the, the OG styled um, outsole midsole. They are a little flat again, um, but yeah, they look great. I'm just going to point out a few things also with the Chicago. So the first thing that we notice is the wings logo actually i'm gonna grab the other one the wings logo is a little less embossed what am i doing let me flip it there we go sorry guys uh, the wings logo is a little less embossed on the black and red as you see the shade of red is also different um but that's that's a reflection you know even back on the ogs i had like two pairs of royals and they came with different shades of red so i'm fine with it it's not as vibrant as a cherry red you could say um, but yeah, they are, they are a different shade of red. And also they both size 11 and the new cut is definitely higher. So this is closer to the height of the BY, which we will com be comparing with very soon as you see in the back. Um, so yeah, elevated swoosh a little bit. You can see a little more space, um, on the medial side, it's still a little lower. I'd like to see it raised a little bit. Um, uh, but yeah, they did a great job. Nice tall heel, elevated swoosh. Um, yeah, toe box is a little different. That's another thing I probably would just improve a little bit on, and we'll dive more deeper into that. It was really slanted here, a little too pointed. And here it's a little, it just needs a little work. It's a little rounded um, right on the toe in the cut. But yeah, it's not terrible, like I said, but uh, I've seen some other pairs. Maybe it's just my pair that kind of, Looks similar to, um, at least they match up, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, shoot me some photos. I want to see, I know a lot of people were getting their pairs way before I did. So again, it doesn't look bad. Um, but yeah, I, I just hope they can kind of get it closer to that OG. Um, but yeah, leather on both, usually, you know, consistent. And I know a lot of people have had a lot of good feedback about the consistency of that. Uh, structure wise it's good around the heel again so yeah just really really nice product tongue looks good they did switch the branding you got uh, developer boring on the insole now Let me pull these out you can kind of see down in there as it says developer boring on the insole instead of nike so yeah they're making it you know their own product so it's custom by db and on the Chicago, we had, wasn't quite as, you know, obvious. So it was DB, you kind of have to know what it stands for. Developer Boring 2023. Yeah, great shoe. Um, and we're going to compare these with the OG next. All right, here we go with the uh, OG on the left. And you got your Developer Boring pair on the right. So you can see the reds are slightly different. Um, tongue tags. The Nike is slightly larger on the OG. And again, uh, it's another little detail I like to see if they could update. Just get that, that looser OG style weave on the stitching. 
And it's a little more refined like we see on the more modern retros, but at least they do have the register logos, which is cool. The tongues feel great though, like they feel spot on. Like the padding, everything looks really great. Um, I did swap out red laces too. I'm like, I have to do red right away. They came laced with black, but I just always like the red laces like MJ in the uh, slam dunk contest. Uh, but as you can see, the scale looks pretty close. Um, these are size 12, and again, like they're like usually half size smaller on the OG. Um, so this is a size 11, and they scale out pretty well together. Uh, as you look at down to the toe box, you can kind of see what I was talking about about the toe. It stays really low, and there's a little natural curve to this. Not that it's a banana toe by all means. It's really still low profile to the to the ground, but these ones stay really low, and you have a larger hump just a wider cut on the developer boring. So hopefully they can get it between what the Chicago was and what this black and red look um, looks like. Um, but overall, height, like I said, look, they're like right on with the BY. And I love the BY factory. So that's that's cool. Um, so not no gripes there. But yeah, I imagine these are gonna break in really nicely like the Chicago's. Uh, we're gonna look uh, side panels next. Maybe a little toe-to-toe -to -toe action. All right, so we're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Again, the height is pretty nice. It's good. It's not curved up. It's not super wide, but it's just the thicker cut. And just kind of, kind of, you know, bring this up a little bit would be nice. Just so you have a little natural shape to the shoe so it's not quite as flat. As you see, this comes up. It does not look bad. And then the thickness is just way wider on this one. Um, but there is different thicknesses, obviously, because, like, I'll pop in the black toe here. So this looks like it's a little wider cut. Um, which kind of resembles, as you see, the Chicago, but this is just a little flatter. So, again, not too bad, um, just a little different. And I'd like to just see that toe box improve just slightly. But as it comes down, it looks, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty good. It looks nice. Um, but, yeah, just the, that's the top of the toe fix. But, yeah, as you pan back and you see from the build, from the heel down, it looks great. Like, you look really nice. The swoosh is nice, looks elevated. Um, as you can see the spacing here between these two line for line pretty good um, We're going to go put the heels back to back so you guys can see how straight the heel is and everything next All right, so you can see basically nice and straight vertical they match up really really nice I mean it looks it looks great. The leather looks good the shape everything's pretty pretty spot-on Nothing major and even when you look at you know the OGs they weren't perfect This one's a little wider cut on the toe just overall cut down. And I've seen some that like, I think it was a 20, was it 2012? Whatever that Retro Royal was, I had one that was like, one toe was like double the thickness, like the width cut on it. So again, there's slight differences you might see on the OGs even. Um, so it's not a, not a huge deal, but yeah, collars look good. The wings look great. Got the embossment. Again, I might go over it just to take the glossiness away a little bit. Um, as we've talked, I've showed in the video with the uh, Cardinals on how to remove the gloss on the um, Air Jordan 7 Cardinal midsole. So I might do that. And um, tongue heights are pretty much the same now that we have them on this side here, which is cool. Um, but yeah, just to show you guys, you know, swoosh point for point. A little different, you know, with the shade of red again. Um, OG maybe just slightly higher, but yeah, not. Uh, not bad at all. Looks pretty good. We're going to just show you guys a straight shot of the heel next. All right, now we're looking at the heel, and you can see that um, the height is pretty much on point. They look really good next to each other. Shape around the collar is slightly different. Comes just a little lower. Um, the whole patch on the back end is a little wider. Could be a little smaller, but again, it doesn't look terrible. Uh, here's another reference. Here's your black toe. So you can see that right there is pretty small too. Uh, but yeah, swoosh elevation, it's pretty good. When you see, remember uh, the Chicago's, it was a little little thinner. But yeah, this one looks pretty pretty good. I want to show you guys too the insole of the black and red. You can see there's that Nike Air in red. So just a little side detail. Uh, again, also the BY factory, the midsoles are wider. And here they're a little more narrow, and also with this is the STP factory, a little more narrow. So kind of similar to the Retro 85 per se, and TY1, uh, STP are a little more narrow. 
Uh, let's see. But next, uh, we'll take a quick look at the outsoles, and that should about do it. All right, looking at the outsoles, could be fading over time, but they're not quite as vibrant red. Um, definitely a deeper red, and I don't know if you can kind of see that this is definitely like the the soles are very very flat, kind of reflecting on how we're talking about the toe, and you can kind of see that this kind of pushes out a little bit. Also it reminds me of like the Retro 11, how like the soles are kind of flat and how the originals had kind of that natural curve as I've showed in previous videos. So maybe you can kind of see from this angle that there's, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but it's kind of got a slight pushing out of, if that makes sense. I don't know if I said that <laughs> correctly, but yeah, you can kind of see a natural like contour like coming out. And here you see it's very flat. So yeah, it's just it's just real you know, runs really low, really, really even. So but yeah, other than that, pretty much, you know, your standard Jordan one um outsole. Alright, that'll be a wrap on our developer boring, black and red. Uh definitely recommend their products. Again, a really nice shoe for a great price. Uh, they have the UNCs coming up and I believe the black toe. So I will definitely be ordering uh, that shoe also. And now that the review's done, I'll definitely be putting these to feet very soon. So yeah, again, yeah, just check out the leather. It's just really, really nice. And I'll show you guys, like, since I've worn the Chicago's, kind of how these have broken in. It's just butter. It looks good. That's the OG stuff right there. That's how it, you know, that's how it creases. Not saying it's the same quality leather, but... It's definitely, it breaks in nicely, okay? Yeah, I wore these for five hours. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. Do it if you haven't. Um, but um, yeah, I wore these for like five hours the first time and they were super comfy. Had no, zero issues. Great, great shoes. So I'm expecting exactly the same from the black and red. So yeah, be sure to follow Developer Boring and uh, keep notes of what they're doing. And um Check on my Instagram at OG or Bust and make sure you hit that subscribe button on YouTube. We'll have more videos coming and we'll see you guys soon.